G'day. Today I'm going to go through the first flush carrot and in particular talk about how you can choose your grommet configuration to suit your application of your range water harvesting system. There are a few different types of grommets that come with your first flush carrot kit and these include the filling grommets, the draining grommets and also the wick and the wick blanking grommet. To explain these in more detail, Basically, on the inlet of your carrot, you have the filling grommet, and that's on this part here. And the filling grommet effectively controls how much or how little water flows into the carrot uh, itself. So filling grommet A has a smaller hole in it, and using this grommet would mean that you would be diverting more water. Filling grommet B has a larger hole in it, which allows more water to go into the carrot and therefore triggers the carrot sealing off sooner and diverts less water. So the next type of grommet that we have in the carrot is the draining grommet. So the draining grommet goes into the bottom of the carrot inside your diverter here and it controls the rate of release of water out of the carrot here. So there are four different options for the draining grommet and that is zero, one, two and three. So zero is effectively just a blanking grommet, so there's no actual hole in that one. And as you go up in the series, so one, two and three, the hole is getting progressively larger. So that controls how quickly water can exit your carrot and therefore the reset interval of your carrot first flush. And finally, we have the draining wick. So the wick goes and sits inside the reservoir here and that uh, allows the water to drain out really slowly out of the carrot reservoir. And the wick's kind of designed for really low rainfall intensities where you want the carrot to reset quite slowly so that you're able to capture some water. So, which filling grommet and which draining grommet should you choose for your carrot first flush diverter? Out of the box, the carrot comes pre-installed with filling grommet A and draining grommet 2. And we think this provides a kind of medium balance of both getting rid of dirty water and allowing you to capture rainwater in your tank. So say in my rainwater harvesting system, I have really high rainfall intensity and quite a lot of pollution on my roof. A great option here would be to use filling grommet A and draining grommet 3. So this means that the carrot takes a long time to fill and resets really quickly. There are various combinations of filling grommet and draining grommet you can use, and you can tailor these for your particular application. Another thing to add is that the larger the hole in your draining grommet, the less maintenance might be required on your carrot first flush diverter. So with draining grommet three, that's the least maintenance, whereas going down to number one, more maintenance, and then if you're using the wick, maybe even more maintenance again, just because you need to get in there fairly regularly to uh, wash out the wick and make sure it's functioning adequately. So I hope that's helped you understand the range of carrot grommets. Thanks for watching.